Hi, I'm Rhonda and I'm an entomologist. So today we're gonna talk about what makes an insect an insect. So I have my little insect model here. This is an ant, many, many more size, um, more than life size, right? And so what's the first thing we think about when we're thinking, well, is it an insect? First thing I think about is how many legs does it have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So all insects have six legs. And how many body parts do you see? One, two, three. So three body parts. And do we know what those body parts are? This is the head, this is the thorax, and this is the abdomen. So those are the parts of an insect. Now insects do all kinds of amazing things. They're very diverse and they live in many different types of habitats and do many different things. So I brought my insect collection um, so this is one that I created, and so there's a lot of different things in here. Some are not insects though. So I'll let you pause the video if you'd like and see if you can figure out which ones are not an insect, okay? So pause here. All right, if you've had a chance to determine which ones are and which ones are not an insect, I'll give you a hint. These up here have too many legs. So all of these right here, so these are spiders, and there's millipedes in there. So those are not insects, okay? The rest, however, are insects. And so I have a little challenge for you. Um, now that you've learned a little bit about what insects are, I would like you to spend a little bit of time researching an insect or two, um, figure out where they live, what they do, and then I want you to be very creative and create an insect. So you know what its body parts should look like, right? So as you're creating this insect, think about how it might feed, what kind of different mouth parts might it have. So if you think of a mosquito, for example, they have piercing sucking mouth parts so they can get through our skin, right? There are things like beetles that have chewing mouth parts so they chew up things like maybe a banana or um, there are a variety, so some have sponging mouth parts or like a straw that rolls up. What might that be? That's mostly like butterflies, right? So I have a challenge for you to create a insect. So here's an example from a student that did this project with me um, a while back. And so you can see that it has a piercing sucking mouth part through a straw and it has six legs here, three on this side and three on this side and it's got three body parts. So I want you to create your own version. Be creative, be, um, yeah, whatever your insect looks like. It doesn't have to look like a real insect at all, um, but let's be creative here. And then if you wanna take it just a step further, go ahead and create a little story and tell me about where your insect might live and what it might feed on, um, and then post it and share it with us and we're going to be looking at those and uh, resharing some of our favorites and uh, yeah, hopefully we will see some of your amazing artwork.